from the one and only. This is a Local 10 News Update, sponsored by FHIA, Florida Home Improvement Associates. Good morning, South Florida. I'm Eric Yutze. Here's a look at your top stories on this Wednesday. Concerns growing in Florida after a person who traveled to Miami tested positive for the coronavirus. Miami-Dade officials now tracing the steps of that New York patient. City leaders say events like Ultra will continue as planned, adding that protocols will be in place at the airport for those coming from countries who are struck with the virus. The Broward School District already planning for a scenario where a student, school, or area has to be quarantined. School officials there teaching students how to stay away from the virus. A stabbing suspect is dead after a police involved shooting in Southwest Miami Dade. This happened Tuesday right near Southwest 198th Street. That is where a woman told police her husband stabbed their daughter in law. Officers entered the home. That is where the suspect barricaded himself inside of a room. Shots were fired at some point. That man died at the scene. The woman who was stabbed also died apparently from her injuries. The motive for that stabbing is still under investigation. Be an authority on weather with the new Local 10 Weather Authority app. Live interactive radar, live streaming forecasts, future cast, lightning tracker, and more. Activate weather alerts and select weather from unlimited locations. Be a part of the Weather Authority team. Drop pins of weather-related photos or video. The power to know weather conditions anywhere. And it's completely free. Download or update the Local 10 Weather Authority app now. Search WPLG in the App Store. A grieving mother overcome with emotion when facing her son's alleged killer in court. Alejandro Sanchez's ex-girlfriend, Karina Corbalan, appearing in court on Tuesday. She was charged with second-degree murder. Police say she admitted she shot Sanchez five times during an argument outside of a home on West 58th Street and 21st Avenue. The victim airlifted to the hospital. That is where he died from his injuries. Well, as breaking news happens, we'll keep you covered on air and online. Head to Local10.com for more local news coverage and updates.